Yo guys, it's your boy Bo or BKR17 here and welcome back to a new series I'm doing on my channel. Guys, I can't wait for this. We're doing the transfer centre with your boy Bo. Um, yes, I, I work for Sky now. I don't really, but I'm just going to bring you the best deals that go down throughout the January transfer window and some big deal um, players who are linked with big clubs, mainly the Premier League, but also we're going to go with uh, other leagues, big leagues, if there's like big teams such as Barcelona, PSG. Speaking of PSG, the first deal has just gone down. They have signed Julian Draxler for a reported £34.5 million. You, no, pounds, so I don't know how much euros that is, but he, they've signed him on a five-year contract, which is absolutely fantastic for him, and his buyout clause will be absolutely massive as he's there for five years. I think this is a brilliant addition as Ben Affa has not been great this season, and I think he can play anywhere, to be honest, Draxler. He can play on the left, on the right, in behind Cavani and maybe even centre mid they have a fantastic midfield this season with the likes of Pastore, Verratti, Krakowiak, Matuidi and now Julian Draxler um, I think now they are much more of a threat in um, Europe like in the Champions League as Ben Affa haven't done nothing for him this season so um, yeah I think Ben Affa will go on loan out to find a bashing now this deal is complete as I don't think he'll play over Draxler as Draxler has bags of potential and I think he can finally fulfil him at PSG. Personally I'd love to see him at Arsenal but Wenger is a stingy prick and he don't like to spend his money I don't know why but yeah hopefully we can sign some players in this transfer window and yeah sign a Cazorla replacement. Speaking of Cazorla replacement Juventus have just signed Rincon um, the centre mid from Venezuela who plays for he used to play for Genoa but now he plays for Juventus I think they've signed him for around 10 million pounds which means hopefully this means Merlian Pjanic can go to Arsenal the um I think he's 28 the 28 year old um Bosnian midfielder who plays for Juventus has been linked with a move to the Emirates and if this goes down Honestly, this is a perfect replacement for Kazura. He can play CDM, centre mid and even centre attacking midfield. I think overall this would be an amazing signing and I would be so happy. I'm not sure if this will get done in um, this transfer window, but if it gets done in the summer, I'm not going to complain. I do think we need to strengthen um, our attacking options in midfield as Oxley chamberlain is so inconsistent. Ozil's doing all right and it will be I like. But um, yeah, I think we need that one more attacking midfielder to make our midfield world class. I'm very impressed with Granit Xhaka. He is, um, since he's moved into midfield, him and Al Nani have been playing really good. And he had the most passes in one game um, since the 2015 the other day. So that's always great to hear from an Arsenal fan perspective, you know. So yeah, the next deal we're going to be talking about is Morgan Schneiderlin. And this is a little bit of a confusing one. Man United have turned on a 19 million bid from the Toffees, which is Everton. And I think this is a stupid thing for them to do, as 19 million for Morgan Schneiderlin, um, who don't play for them really, I think they should accept that because they can sign um, another CDM who um, reported, like, who, who will play better than Schneiderlin, who might even get into the team, you know? There's lots of options out there who. Um, they could sign as Man United are a big Premier League club, but I'm not sure. It's it's just a confusing one. But maybe they're holding out for a bigger offer up to the region of 25 million from West Brom for Morgan Schneiderlin. But I just don't see West Brom offering more than 20 million for him. Guys, the last deal I want to talk about is Delhi Ali. Real Madrid are plotting a shock 60 million euro move for the England international. He's only 20 years old and they have a pass with taking Tottenham's talent. They've took Luka Modric and Gareth Bale. Personally, in my opinion, Luka Modric is the best midfielder ever. Real Madrid have made them the best midfielder. Not ever, like best midfielder, like present, like the best present midfielder. And I think they can make Deli Ali, Ali so good. He's so good already and that's why I want him to move to La Liga as I think at Real Madrid he'll be able to fulfil his full potential as Tottenham are shite in my opinion. As an Arsenal fan, I hate Tottenham. We hate Tottenham. We hate Tottenham. We hate Tottenham. But I'd love this deal to go down. Um, 
60 million. He would also be such a good addition for FIFA Ultimate Team as you could link him with so many good players. Um, you could link him with BPL squads. You can link him with, yeah, you link him with mad high bids. And I think this will be a fantastic deal. This will not go down in January as Real Madrid's transfer ban is up in the summer. So who knows? This could go down in the summer, 60 million pound or euros, 50 million pound, 60 million euros. I'd love to see, to see this deal happen. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, please smash the like button. Let's try and aim for 20 likes on this video. And also check out in the description below for the giveaway. Don't forget to enter that. That's ending on the 14th, I think. I'm not sure. I'll, I will check. And yeah, so don't forget to enter that giveaway. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Got last video um, and put some questions in the comment section for my Q&A, which I'm going to be doing within this week. So guys, hope you have enjoyed. Please smash, like, comment and subscribe. And I'm out.